and showered with toasted coconut. It's a giant among desserts. It's also just plain giant. My toasted coconut snowball cupcakes pack all of the flavor of the larger cousin into a small little package and all because of my secret ingredient. In this video, I'll show you how to make it mini. Many coconut cake and cupcake recipes use coconut extract, but I think that that leaves a fake kind of sunscreen type flavor. These cupcakes and frosting get their flavor from reduced coconut milk that gives a very intense flavor. You just simmer the coconut milk over medium heat until it's reduced to about one and a half cups, and then set it aside to cool completely. And now for the cupcakes. We're going to start by mixing together our dry ingredients. I have my flour already in the bowl. I'm going to add salt and baking powder. And then I'm going to whisk it together until it's really well blended. And now we're going to move over to the butter. It's already in the mixer and it's softened at room temperature, but not all melty. And then we're going to beat that until it's nice and smooth. Scrape down the bowl. We're not going to worry about the beater right now. And we're going to add the granulated sugar. And then we're going to beat this on medium speed until it's well blended. It's a good idea to stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl and the beaters a couple of times during mixing. And now we'll add the eggs. We're going to add them one at a time and make sure that we mix until really well blended before adding the next. And with the final egg, we'll add some vanilla extract. And we're going to add half of our flour mixture doesn't have to be exact. And then we're going to mix until it's just incorporated. And now we're going to add our cooled condensed coconut milk. See how nice and thick it is? This is just a cup. We've saved another third for the frosting. Now we're going to mix until it's just blended. And we'll add the remainder of our flour mixture. And now we're going to mix just until it's blended. And now we're ready to fill the muffin cups with the batter. I've lined 18 standard muffin cups with paper liners. You want the cups to be about two-thirds of the way full. And then bake them at 350 until a toothpick in the center comes out clean. After 15 minutes, just take the cupcakes out and set them on a wire rack to cool completely. While the cupcakes are cooling, let's make the frosting. It's a really simple coconut buttercream frosting. Once again, we're going to start with room temperature butter, and I put it in my mixer with the paddle attachment, and I'm going to beat it until it's nice and smooth. And add confectioner sugar, one third cup of the cooled coconut concentrate, vanilla extract, and some table salt. We're going to beat this on low speed just until the confectioner's sugar is incorporated, and then we're going to increase it to medium high and beat it until it's nice and fluffy. And one more thing before we get this all pulled together. We need to toast some coconut for the garnish. I like to use sweetened shredded coconut because of its long strands. I think it gives a really elegant look to the finished cupcake. You can also use flaked coconut too. Just be sure it's sweetened because that's what's going to give you a nice toasty brown color. All right, let's dress these cupcakes. I've filled a pastry bag with the frosting 
and fit it with a star tip. You want to generously pipe a large mound of frosting onto the center of each cupcake, leaving a border of cake, and then sprinkle it with the toasted coconut. 